Now I rode them around a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and collect milk from them. You can uh, drink this milk for health, and uh, you can ride them like so. Give him a little, little ride around here. See if he feels comfortable with me. All right. Glad you're bringing this thing into the vet. All right, we're going to go ahead and adopt him. Oh, look, he's pretty happy about that. Got some, uh, You got to recharge this uh, long distance transmitter. Uh, just adopted a creature companion. His name is Bogos Bugos. Bugos Bugos. Okay. Guess you can change the name of that if you want to, but uh, I'm not really gonna do a video on that right now. But anyway, we're gonna we have to recharge. This holographic comms tower. Click there, click on sodium, and bada bing, bada boom, 100%. We'll be able to talk to our meaties all the way across the universe now. Alright, the tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to frustrate holographic communications. The extra power should allow me to re establish the connection with our meaties. Alright. And I try to locate our meaties frequency, uploading the data from our previous communication. Bada bing, bada boom. Signal match detected. Okay. We're in business. Oh. All right. Let's see how this goes. Sorry, I scratched the ship. I needed the money. Eh, never, never mind. You really are real, aren't you? You aren't a dream. Hey, no, I'm real. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. It's hard to think here. Something's wrong with the... It's easy to create a better reality when you have to. I thought you might be a dream. I'm sorry. I haven't heard another voice so long. Not since I cut the speaker out from my exoseat. And said such terrible things. Jeez. The stranger smiles through the static. Okay. It's a face only a mother could love, I guess. I'm just like you. You are a traveler of worlds, aren't you? Uh, I don't know, really. They do not respond with speech. They transmit a vision, a red star, and a fragile world. I do not understand the shapes within the whispers. I see life forms scattered to the far reaches of the galaxy. I see this stranger's first breath yawning for the stars. I see myself slumbering in a crimson world. And through the darkness, I hear it said. Anomaly detected. <laughs> All right. What I showed you just now is, it has haunted me since I awoke. You must recognize it too. You say so, buddy. We are the travelers, discoverers of worlds. From the moment you open your eyes, you must have known. You were not like the others. So did I. Before I became stranded here, I was... On a journey to to finally meet. It cannot be a coincidence that you found the signal. Tell me, do you still have the data log from the crash ship? Uh, I kind of scrapped your ship, but I do have the data. All right, got that off my chest. I uploaded my exosuit's records, including the stranger's transmission I received. Much of my equipment is damaged. I am alone on foot, stranded on a sunless world. I don't even know 
how your signal is reaching me, but this ship you found, it belonged to me once. Perhaps there is hope after all. Hmm. Are you going to ask for your ship back? We need to work out where we both are. If you build a signal booster across the system, we should be able to triangulate your position. Okay. I can I can do that. I already have one of those. Got it right here in my pocket. Well, my exosuit. Alright, uh, let's see here. There's uh, my pet down there. He's walking around. Uh, I'm going to charge this hazard protection up down to 10%. There's a wild milk. You can consume it for a 20% life support power. Alright, so here's a signal booster right here. So all you do is, uh, I think you can build it up here. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Stay right there. That's one of those things you put it down, pick it up. So you don't have to build another one. Triangulate position. All right. You ready for the next position now? So uh, I guess uh, where's the ship at? Somewhere over here. Oh, there it is. All right. Just remember when you jump off of high platforms, don't use your jetpack until right before you hit the bottom. Guess we'll say bye to Blizzard Block. Balls, balls. Give him another treat. Pet him. Take these bags off of him. I don't know why he's got this crap on him. Yeah, I, mean, I don't want to stick this equipment on him. It looks heavy. Yeah, we'll just, uh... We'll just take this stuff off of him. Yeah, yeah, that feels better, doesn't it? Man, he jumps pretty high for this big platypus thing. Triceratops platypus. So, he might want to, wait, I'll just follow him for a second. He might want to show me something. Is this a crab octopus? Crab octopus spider? Alright. Eh, I think that's enough playing for the day. I think that when he jumps around like that, I think it means something. I'll have to look into that later. But for now, we got to uh, triangulate our signal. Get one more treat for the road. And one more ride. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. We uh, respond to comments, and uh, we'll bring them up in the videos. And you can also make requests. If you have any kind of interest you, you want me to uh, to demonstrate in the video, or if I miss something and you, you think I should uh, make a commentary for it, leave it in the comments. Who knows? Maybe I'll uh, redo the video. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get off this uh, frozen rock here. Going to leave Blas Blas or whatever his name is here. Uh, see that other red mark over there? That's where we're going to go. Let's take a look around. See if I can shoot these uh, ore fish snake things. Uh, I know I can't hit them. It just looks funny. Alright, and uh, you want to make sure you don't clip the uh, the hillside. Your, your ship will take damage if you hit anything. 
And uh, you can't engage the pulse engine until you get out of orbit. So we'll go up a little higher here. Bada bing, bada boom, and the pulse engine away we go. Oh, it's down to 17% though. I should probably uh, recharge it. And I'm out of tritillium. Well, good thing I'm in space. Should be a whole bunch of it around here. Oh, there's a couple of asteroids. Now, these are pretty big. Looks like this one's got some gold in it. Yeah. Mining 100% gold. Golden asteroids. In space. Just go out in space and uh, mine gold like this. Yeah. Newsflash. Things like this do exist. Giant golden asteroids just floating in space. Just sitting out there. Anyway, we got a little bit of uh, juice left in the drive. But it won't let me uh, on that trajectory. It says it's, it's going to be catastrophic. Look at this freighter here. Uh, this one's got quite a bit of cargo storage. There should be a way on there. They got their, uh, their foot in the bays are open. You should be able to land on it. Uh, maybe this one isn't a... Let me just take a look at the front here. Yeah, I don't, I don't see the blue doors anywhere, but there should be some blue doors. Hangar doors should be open. Uh, that's not it. That looks like some type of... Uh, motor drive or something but uh if you come over here this one actually has the doors wide open for us so let me show you how to dock on a freighter all you do is you just kind of head straight for the doors and once you get close enough the landing sequence will be initiated they'll pull you right in just like that all right go ahead and zip on up to the the bridge and talk to the captain and we'll, we'll see how much he wants for this freighter i don't think i have enough right now but let's take a look so you can see uh, all freighters should be laid out basically the same it's a kovac ship so we'll go ahead and talk to him Alright, so he wants 18 million for this one. Just a little short, by about 16 million, but, you know. There's some, he's already got some silver and gold and tritillium on board. <laughs> it's a nice view, though. I like what they've done with this update where you can see the front of the ship. It's pretty cool. Uh, there's some other stuff on here, but that's going to be another video. For now, we're going to zip back out to our ship, take off of this freighter, and continue on with their mission. Uh, take off, all you do is just a normal launch sequence. X on the Xbox. Bada bing, bada boom, look at all these freighters. If I was a pirate, I could shoot these things and get all their cargo, but we're not going to do that today. Well, that's a weird looking asteroid. Let's see what this is. Boom. Oh, platinum. All right. Sounds good. Take that to the jeweler. Well, I really need to find some, uh, I was one that's silver. I need trintillium. I don't, I don't need silver. I don't need platinum. I don't need gold. Uh. Yep, no trintillium. It's like pyrite will work too, but we don't have any of that. So we'll go ahead and zip as far as it'll let us here. Scan that planet. All right, looks like we made it into this planet's atmosphere. 
Didn't run out of tritillium fuel. Oh, I think I'm going down. Oh, jeez. Well, guys, it's been nice knowing you. Thanks for all your likes and your comments and your subscriptions. So, just kidding. Just kidding. You thought I was going to crash, didn't you? Not today. Well, I don't know. Not yet, anyway. Maybe later. Now, this here is um, something you might find. Sometimes you get coordinates for it. It's an exosuit upgrade module. Now, we need a carbon nanotube, sodium nitrate, and an antimatter housing. Looks like I'm going to have to get some ferrite dust to craft the anti outer housing. Antimatter housing. And I'm uh, going to work over here, grab some sodium, and I'm going to refine it. And then uh, we'll be able to get a free upgrade. And uh, instead of doing a cargo upgrade, I think I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my technology bay. As a it's about time we start installing some new technology on our exosuit. And uh, I really don't want to take up a cargo section with that. So get to expand my technology section a little. Uh, you're going to have to bear with me a little bit. Uh, let's see if I got any. Uh, yep, I need some ferrite dust. Might as well scan these creatures while we're here. Just in case you missed my last video, you can uh, you can actually adopt the animals if they're friendly. You give them a creature pellet which you craft out of carbon, and uh, they get all happy and jump around and stuff. You can ride them. Uh, some people like them with oh geez, it's one of those planets. It's okay. Let's see what happens when you uh, keep mining things when the sentinels are watching you. Uh, well, his, his buddies are showing up now. They're now they're attacking me. That's great. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna just gonna go ahead and keep doing what I need to do. Maybe if I ignore them, they'll go away, right? No, no, no. He's definitely shooting at me. All right. Show them who's boss, right? Antimatter housing, bada bing. Still out of sodium, bada boom. Okay. See, there's a living slime. We'll go ahead and stick that in the suit. Got a little carbon in here. Take this thing out, put it in here. And if you got any sodium, you stick that in there. Right here, we got we only got 17, so I'm gonna have to get some more. But see how it refines the sodium nitrate? And that's what we need. We need some sodium nitrate. And it looks like we need 10 of them. Okay. So we're gonna gather up a little bit more sodium. What's this thing? It's carbon. Almost looks like it's got sodium in it just by the coloring. Anyway, I'm pull these plants. Hopefully, the sentinels don't mind. Oh, yep. Guess they don't like you picking plants either. Oh well. Doesn't seem like they're shooting me right now, so. Guess I got that going for me. Alright folks, we're back again. Uh, we're just in the middle of finishing this ex exosuit upgrade module repair. Just need a little bit more sodium nitrate to complete the uh, third part of the repair so we can get a free upgrade. Uh, sometimes you can find these on the planet or uh, you'll get coordinates for them. Uh, and you could save some money, especially once they start costing you 
you know, 300,000 units for an upgrade. All right, so put the sodium nitrate in the bag. I will start the personal refiner back up, making some nanites out of all that stuff. All right, here's the last repair. And it's basically the same thing as on the space station and on the space anomaly. You can pick where you want the upgrade to go. I'm going to upgrade the technology uh, section just so that way I have more space for my technology. You could install the technology in the cargo bay, but I'd rather conserve my cargo space for other things. And right, that was Drop Pod Planet Nobor 55T2. Okay. Let's go back to our BD's mission here. All right, now you can, you'll notice once you change that over, it'll give you the new um, updates. In the bottom right here behind my head. Yep. There we go. Position log. Just go ahead and pick this thing up again. Now we got to go over to that planet and triangulate our position off of that one. Some fire over here. That was weird. Alright. I'll just hop in the ship. Bada bing, bada boom, ah. Damn, I got a crap.